All right, let's get started. Three quarter cup warm water in between 110 and 115 degrees. One third cup sugar. One and a quarter teaspoon dry yeast. And we're going to mix that up real good and let that sit for 10 minutes and let that yeast get to work. Now, once that 10 minutes is up, we're going to take one half cup evaporated milk. Put that into the bowl. We're going to add one egg and one and a quarter teaspoon of vanilla extract. Next, two cups of bread flour. Very important that it's bread flour. We'll add that to our bowl. Then we're going to put this on our KitchenAid using the paddle attachment. And we're going to set that on speed number two and let that incorporate all the ingredients really well. We're going to add three quarter teaspoon of salt. And once this is going good, we'll stop for a moment and we're going to add another cup and a half of flour. Oh, I almost forgot. Two and a half tablespoons of soft butter. Now we're going to add another cup and a half of flour. And we're going to get this all mixed up nice. And once we get it mixed up nice, we're going to switch to our dough hook. And we're going to let our dough hook knead this flour until smooth, like that. We'll take it out, and we're going to take a, another bowl and lightly grease it. Put the dough in there, cover with cellophane, and we're going to put that in the refrigerator for anywhere between 2 and 24 hours. I kept it in there till the next morning, and I took my dough out. I put a little flour on my countertop. I've got my rolling pin out, and I'm going to roll this out until it's about a quarter inch thick. And then once I've got it to the thickness I want, I took my pizza cutter, squared it off, and then I cut little squares for my beignets. I'll put those right onto a baking sheet and let those set until my oil reaches 350 degrees. Now, once we get our oil up to temp, we're going to slowly drop these in. They're going to sink to the bottom, but they're going to float right back up top. And then they're going to puff up and get golden brown. And once they get golden brown, you're going to flip them on the other side until both sides are golden brown. And here's the color you're looking for right here. So we'll go ahead and remove these. And we'll put them on a wire rack to drain. And I've got this ladle, it's called a spider, I believe, which is great for this kind of work. You should get to one. I'll put a link in Am to Amazon in the uh, settings there. All right, we'll get the final couple in there. And once we have all our beignets done, we're going to move them to the, another table. And I've got some powdered sugar. And I'm just going to use that strainer to evenly cover these with powdered sugar and then they're ready to serve with your favorite cup of coffee all right enjoy these make them for you your family your friends they're all going to love them and come back soon i appreciate you very much thank you